we have uh, several, not all, of the wonderful accessories uh, for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, I'm going to do a brief overview uh, for collectors and players, kind of the nuts and bolts. Uh, the, the nuts and bolts in general is uh, they made several accessories and you don't need many of them. Um, several of the accessories for the uh, system. Uh, first up, the control pad. You technically, you know, if you bought this new, you would get two of these. Uh, this hands down, you're going to use for, you know, 95% of your games. Uh, this is great. This is found abundantly. It's cheap. And it's one of the best controllers, I think, that's ever been made durability-wise. Um, if you like to splurge collectors, this is the dog bone controller, as it's known. For the, it came with the Nest 2. Uh, a little bit uh, smoother, rounded. Um, buttons feel a little bit better. Uh, this is an A-plus in my, in my book. Um, box... It's a box one right there. Um, those are a must. For the light gun games, you have uh, your traditional zapper. Um, this one is the gray one. There, There is two versions. There's a gray zapper and light gray, and then there's a uh, orange zapper that's got orange barrel. And um, either one, like I said, uh, that's the one I recommend. They did make a third-party zapper. Um, I don't recommend that. It's it's cool to collect if you find it, it's pretty rare. Um, but again, uh, not something you're gonna play with. Uh, they made some, Nintendo made a couple additional official uh, additional controllers. Um, the NES Advantage a joystick style game for people that prefer a joystick. It's pretty decent, built-in turbo. Uh, um, I, I don't know. I am not a fan of it, but uh, some arcade players are. You had the NES Max, uh, again, kind of an alternative official controller made. Uh, I I actually hate this controller. Some people love and swear by it. I'm not one of them. Um, but uh, again, uh, you see that that's pretty unique. Obviously, the Power Glove, uh, a failed official thing, made um, more to collect than anything. Um, I don't have mine box or anything, but it did come with uh, sensors. Another, uh, obviously, the power pad, which um, I do believe the technology was bought by Bandai. That is what a normal power pad comes, but they also made, yes, the Family Fun Fitness Pad, which you would have to play with stadium events. And uh, like I said, it's di different in color. If you ever see one of these, get it. It is very rare and collectible. Also, for four-player action, you would need a NES satellite. Um, or, if you didn't want to waste lots of batteries, though this is cool to have it cordless, I recommend this one. It's the Four Score, which just plugs into your Nintendo, and you can play... Um, uh, several four-player actions. Uh, NES, NES Play Action Football comes to mind for good times. And there's some other obscure um, third-party stuff. The U-Force, which is uh, terrible to play with, but uh, pretty fun as a collectible. Um, kind of neat to have. It came with uh, several parts. And uh, it's, it's more or less going to sit on your shelf. You're not going to be playing with this, but uh, it is pretty unique. And then the famous Arkanoid controller, which you use with this game. Again, um, great for that one game, but it's something you're not going to play. Um, you know, kind of an overview. Get one of these if you're going to play. Get one of these if you have some extra cash. Definitely good to have a zapper around. And uh, everything else is just kind of extra if you're a collector. And I hope this helps you out. Kind of an overview of some of the accessories for the system and thank you for looking at this.